Well, it's day 15 of our fast, and I pray that God has been doing some miraculous things, as always, in your life, for you and your family. We are on the countdown. It's only one week left before our fast is over, and how I've enjoyed even watching what God has done in my life, and I'm watching others tell testimonies about the goodness of His work through their lives, even through this fasting season. Today we have a wonderful passage of scripture, which I will not read the whole text, but it comes from Psalms 51. I do want to read a couple of short verses of the passage because I feel it expresses what we should be fasting for. It starts in verse 10 and it says, God create a clean heart for me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore the joy of your salvation to me and give me a willing spirit. Then I will teach the rebellious your ways and sinners will return to you. Isn't that what this fasting is about? For God to create a new heart within us so that we can be steadfast with him in him and that he will Create in us and take all of the rebellious and all of the evilness from us, from around us. And that we will be a testimony of his goodness and his mercy to others. You know, it's so important for us to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to really direct us in the right path. And this is what we pray for during this fasting season. That God would purify us. That God would keep us. That he would direct us. That the Holy Spirit will, you know, guide our every steps and that we will become clean and renewed. That our minds shall be renewed and that we will be a living example and a testimony of God's goodness. That's what this is about. For us to be a living testimony, pure and holy. I pray that God is continuing to purify you during the season. I pray that God is continuing to cleanse your heart. And that God is doing something new. And even that you can see it within yourself. And that God is showing up and showing out in your life. I encourage you to even journal this process. I encourage you to even get with your friends or those who are around you and talk about how this fast has blessed you. Because God is doing something special. He's doing something special within you. And I know that you are a living testimony. So I encourage you to read this passage of scripture in its entirety, Psalms 51, and read the whole thing and meditate on it. And understand that this scripture, this meditation, is for the betterment of our souls, our spirit, our minds, our emotions, and even our physical being, that we can become the whole man or whole woman that God wants us to be. Be blessed on the day. I love you and God bless you.